Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Or I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long luck. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. Such a shame. Last call. 
Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye! Officer. Hello. Arthur Morgan. <sighs> well, hello, old friend. New customer! Take a look around. <clears throat> Wrapped meat on the counter, produce on the wall, candies in the middle. It's all self-explanatory, isn't it? Catalog if you're looking for anything else. This area's employees only. Oh, I'm sorry, partner. Just behave, all right? Pretty reliable, that. <sighs> Get you something else? so soon, huh, John? You done enough harm here. Give us another try, okay? Fine day to you. Hey, partner. It's time. John. John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So, not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. 
I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm late, but can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Hey, mister. Good morning. Excuse me. Hello? Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. My name is Rangeful, and I'm Jim Milton. John Marston. Oh. Is Arthur... Uh... He passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well... My people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now. It's, uh... What are you doing here? I... I don't really know. My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well, it's good to see you, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you? Uh, 